Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Back behind us there, you see old Exxon Valdez. It's fighting oil leaks for about a week. We just keep getting worse, we keep finding more, so I think we've found the last one. It's gonna be the oil filter adapter for the cooler. Let's get under that thing, check it out, and see about getting that seal replaced. And you'll be able to see it is pretty well rust protected underneath. That's better than any undercoating. And it rolls all the way back, at least to the transmission, so. Yeah, you can see it's running off from right there. It runs down the torque converter cover, down the filter. So it was all the way up, and I've got the valve cover uh, sealed up. It's good and dry now, so we're just working our way down. And this is our next step. Okay, let's see if we can make a ridiculous mess out of this. I'm sure we can. I'm sure I can achieve what we need. Somebody over tighten that one. I probably should replace that filter even though we just put it on. I'm not going to. Unless we've got to destroy it to get it off. Which is kind of looking that way. I think the guy that put this on needs popped right in the mouth. I'm not going to speak too soon, but we've not made a mess yet. I feel like I need to take that down and clean it. I guess we'll do that. There we go. It's relatively loose. Okay, top one's going to come off first, I guess. Okay, guys, so we've got the bolts out that hold that up to the block. Right there by the oil filter, there's two there. Um, and it's still leaking. So I'm going to let it leak for a couple more minutes, but I've got the cooler lines loose from it. And it's basically just dangling there. So we'll let it drain, get that down, clean it up. Hopefully that gasket, not a big pain to get out or get off of that housing. So anyways, that's what I'm dreading. Well, I am thrilled. I'm going to go play the lottery today. If that is what hole or seals the housing, filter housing to the block, it come off in one piece. So did the O-ring, which I am tickled. I got to do some cleaning up. Um, but anyways... That right there, without getting gripped on, is what it looks like without the housing. Okay, so we use the Caprice as a uh, tool cart, whatever. Anyways, this is what we're replacing. Fill Pro kit for the oil cooler extension on that truck. And I'm sure there's plenty more in here than what we need. But uh, that'll get us sealed up. Well, after a short intermission, we've got everything situated. A buddy of mine cleaned this up for me. Looks a lot better than it did on the truck. New gaskets old gaskets these are the cooler line uh, o-rings there got some o-ring lube thread lock for the bolts to the block and ran into this this is actually loose the filter adapter i guess was loose there so we're gonna use this because i don't have a hex size that big so i think this is a half inch uh, half inch or 13 millimeter bolt and it fits in there like a champ. So we're going to Loctite this thing down and uh, we'll get back under the truck. And we're back together. I got to get those cooler lines done. Get the oil filter back on it. All right, but I believe we have achieved success. That thing looks good. There are no fresh strips off of the bill housing cover, the torque converter cover, rather. Anyways, that is dry. Yes, I reused the filter because I'm cheap and there's nothing wrong with it. So, good deal. We fixed an oil leak today, guys. Well, we've been driving her for a couple days and uh, oil cooler's good. She did not let me down though. Still leaking something pretty bad. So uh, parked it for about a day, come back, looked up underneath it, and the was about a dish size leak spot of transmission fluid. So I'm going to do what I know. I'm going to throw a, a rear output shaft seal at it. Hope for the best. So I can see from the rear bumper of the truck, this seal is shot. It's not even touching the drive shaft. I don't know if something got up against it. It looks, I don't know, it doesn't. 
this looks strange to me. Maybe it's just so worn and dry. It's just beat up now. We've put maybe about 1,500 miles on this truck overall, and we've had an oil leak and this transmission leak. Oh well, we'll get the drive shaft taken out. We'll knock this seal out. I always try to mark it some way. I picked up a paint pen and set it down between the here and the toolbox, but the scratches will do. Some old head trick probably that doesn't make a difference, but I've not had any vibration issues doing it. Oh, let's go get a primer. Let's see if I can keep from knocking my teeth out. Okay, before we do some damage to getting it out, you can really see that thing is shot. The bushing inside seems to be fairly good shape. So we're just gonna slam this seal in it, see what happens. New, new seal here. Gonna clean this up a little bit. So I'm not even sure how much of the oil cooler content will make it kind of upsetting but the uh, GoPro wasn't working very well and, uh, yeah oh well so we're gonna do our best to knock this in oh that's not gonna work Ideally, you would have a seal install kit, and uh, yeah, we'll get there one day. You'll feel it get solid, just work around it. All right. New seal looking good. That is that. So now we've got to shove the drive shaft back in and top the transmission off. Transmission fluid everywhere. New seal set in, drive shaft slid in, like no problem. Same buttoned up back here, got my scratches put together. Everything's torqued, air quote, torqued. Everything's tight. Overall, it took about a quart and a half. Only reason I use this stuff is because I had it. Wouldn't have bought it otherwise, but it does substitute for Dex Merck, and you never go wrong with a seafoam product. This thing is leaking all over. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Now we've got a coolant leak. Something else to work on. I do need to change this side valve cover gasket though. Well, guys, that's it. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the subscribers and. Uh, getting us over 100 mark it's a pretty pretty astonishing to me that at least that many people want to follow what i'm doing um we've clearly got more work to do on this thing we've got to figure out this coolant leak who knows what that's going to turn into we've got a valve cover uh, gasket to change so we've got plenty of work to do and guys if you're not subscribed if you don't mind go ahead and do that um maybe keep up with some of the projects we've got we've got some stuff coming with the box chevy probably going to introduce the camaro it's got some work and we do have a roof over our head now rather than working in the driveway which i salute every one of you to do it anyways guys that's the end i appreciate you watching